What's up, guys? Bitcoin Overdose here, your daily dose of crypto. I do overdose so you guys don't have to. Definitely smack that subscribe button if you haven't already and go follow your boy over at Bitcoin Overdose on Twitter, your mom's favorite crypto channel. Now, today we are going to be talking about Matic BTC and the Matic USD. It has had a crazy run this entire year. We saw it go up from about one penny to $2.30. And now it's kind of on that come down. Now, this is a project that's way better than ADA. You guys have probably heard me talk about ADA quite a bit in the past. XRP, XLM. Matic definitely has a second layer that they are trying to transition from Ethereum to. So this is definitely important. I know there's been problems with the Matic bridging over to other applications in the crypto space. But all in all, guys, it has had a crazy run. Jumping right into it, you're going to see here, it was down at the 91 Satoshi spot. Reminds me kind of of Doge on how much we actually ran up, guys. 6,500. So that's a 7x on Matic in the BTC side of things. Now, if you even start to pull up the USD side, you're looking at a 120 from about a one penny, which is absolutely crazy. But guys, it sat down here for years i mean it was down in this one penny range um or sub one penny range since about may of 2019 all the way down we had like one spike back here in maybe december of 2019 another loss back here in the march 2020 dip but ever since it kind of took off in early january of this year we have not seen it come back down and this has been one of the craziest runs all in all that I've seen in a while. I mean, guys, it's like a 200X on paper, you know? So you're really looking at something up in the Aave gains or the Kasama gains or even the near gains. We've seen crazy things happen across this channel. Matic was one that I did not watch at all. I may have mentioned it, but very, very briefly and not for any type of alluded amount of time. Now that said, guys, Matic BTC is over at the 3,500 Satoshi range. Again, roughly around that dollar twenty point. Very similar to ADA right now. And what I'm kind of dipping towards, I guess, is that if you end up buying Matic this early, does it end up being kind of like another link? I honestly think that a lot of DeFi tokens or DeFi coins will end up going, you know, to ten, twenty dollars a piece. We saw it with Sushi, Uniswap link uh, you guys name it any like DeFi token that's actually gotten a lot of traction has gotten up to above the 20 dollar point in, in uh, usd now i know usd doesn't really matter as much i guess in the grand scheme of things but when you're kind of thinking like 20 dollar coins and you're buying at a dollar um you know it's another 20x so may not be 20x compared to bitcoin because you are kind of looking up into the I mean, over 20, 30K point on the Satoshi point. But, um, you know, these going up against Bitcoin and Ethereum, like especially against Ethereum, if you're trading for more Ethereum in the long run, you're probably going to want to be looking at more DeFi tokens. And I know specifically I've talked about Solana and having a Solana summer this year. I think a lot of DeFi tokens in general will keep on running. Now, does that mean it's an easy 3 or 4X potentially? After that, it gets a little bit more dicey into the rest of the year, you know, but um, into 2021, into the summer of 2021 specifically, I know I'm going to be looking at a lot of DeFi tokens towards August. We're going to see if those are going to actually keep running or not. If they don't show any signs of life, I'm going to probably be deleveraging until the end of November or early December um, of 2021. But until then, guys, I don't think DeFi is really going anywhere. If you guys have been kind of following me along on Twitter, you guys would know that I've been pretty deep involved in the Big DeFi project that I've been working on. Big DeFi Energy, BDE, Big Dick Energy, if you guys are familiar. That one has been an awesome little project that we put together, but we still need a lot of money involved in order to get that thing taken off. And I, I feel like we just have to get lucky with a good influencer early on but we haven't really done much of the marketing yet. Now, yes, I've done upgrades to it, updates to it. It looks pretty clean as of today, but you know, DeFi in general is not in that space where everybody is trying to buy right now. So it is not the time, you know? And that's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. Buying up here for Matic is not the same as it was buying a couple of months ago in early January or even into April. So 
we do have some time here to kind of lay off the DeFi tokens, maybe descale, deleverage, maybe maybe even get out of like ADA and XLM for a little bit here. See what Bitcoin's about to do. See if we get another Bitcoin dominance spike. If you guys want me to pull that up, I will. Because Bitcoin dominance is at 47 percent right now and i know we talked about this where it might range in this area for a while i think we're gonna get another dip into the end of summer but for right now guys it is not the time to be buying anything but bitcoin and i know uh even even buying bitcoin i'm not trying to buy bitcoin above 30k i told you guys that yesterday i'm sticking to it i think i'm gonna wait this one out i'm gonna see if bitcoin does have another dump and yeah, we'll kind of go from there. But anyways, guys, Matic, just a quick look at it. I wanted to kind of get a good feeling for what the market might be doing with other DeFi tokens. And since it's a big layer two solution that everybody on Ethereum is definitely watching for, um, we're going to see if these bridges or if the Polygon network can actually do what it needs to do. But anyways, Bitcoin overdose here, your daily dose of crypto. I do overdose so you guys don't have to. Definitely smack that subscribe button if you haven't already or if you think I earned it today. Drop a like on this video and comment down below your thoughts and opinions on the DeFi summer. Am I right or am I wrong? The big old question. But anyways, I got to remind you as I always do to look both ways before you cross the street. Only you can prevent forest fires, stay in school, don't do drugs, have fun, stay safe. But most importantly, guys, buy Bitcoin and shit.